Installing a rear door heat exchanger. With two technicians holding the heat exchanger by its handles, carefully lift it and turn it upright. Align the bottom corner with the bottom hinge pin on the rack cabinet and then lower the heat exchanger to fit the pin in. Get two people to hold the heat exchanger in place, insert the top hinge bracket pin into the heat exchanger and then secure the bracket with three screws. Filling a heat exchanger with water. If the outer hose access panel is installed, remove the screw that secures the panel and then lift and remove the panel from the heat exchanger. Repeat this step on the other side. Release the nitrogen from the hose. Loosen and remove the cap from the air purging valve. Pinch the valve stem to release the nitrogen. Attach the air purging tool to the air purging valve at the top of the heat exchanger and then place the drain end into a 2 litre container to catch water and air bubbles that escape during the filling procedure. Connect the facility supply hose to the rack supply hose and then connect the facility return hose to the rack return hose. Turn on the flow of water to the heat exchanger and let it run for several minutes. When there is a steady stream of liquid into the container from the air purging tool, disconnect the tool from the heat exchanger. Install the valve cap back on the air purging valve. Align the slots on the outer hose access panel with the hooks on the outer side of the heat exchanger and lower the panel to attach it to the heat exchanger. Optionally, secure the panel with an M4 screw. Repeat this step on the other side.